Super Bowl 31 was an American football game between the American Football Conference, AFC champion New England Patriots and the National Football Conference, NFC champion Green Bay Packers to decide the National Football League, NFL champion for the 1996 season. The Packers defeated the Patriots by the score of 35-21, earning their third overall Super Bowl victory, and their first since Super Bowl II. The Packers also extended their league record for the most overall NFL championships to 12. It was also the last in a run of 13 straight Super Bowl victories by the NFC over the AFC. The game was played on January 26, 1997 at the Louisiana Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. This Super Bowl featured two clubs that had recently returned to competitiveness. After 24 mostly dismal seasons since Vince Lombardi left, the Packers' fortunes turned after head coach Mike Holmgren and quarterback Brett Favre joined the team in 1992. After four losing seasons, the Patriots' rise began in 1993 when Bill Parcells was hired as head coach, and the team drafted quarterback Drew Bledsoe. Under their respective head coaches and quarterbacks, Green Bay posted an NFC Best 13-3 regular season record in 1996, while New England advanced to their second Super Bowl after recording an 11-5 record in what would be their first of 10 Super Bowl appearances under Robert Kraft. The game began with the teams combining for 24 first-quarter points, the most in Super Bowl history. The Packers then scored 17 unanswered points in the second quarter, including Favre's then Super Bowl record 81-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Antonio Freeman. In the third quarter, the Patriots cut the lead to 27-21 off of running back Curtis Martin's 18-yard rushing touchdown. But on the ensuing kickoff, Desmond Howard returned the ball a then Super Bowl record 99 yards for a touchdown. The score proved to be the last one, as both teams' defenses took over the rest of the game. Howard became the first special teams player ever to be named Super Bowl MVP. He gained a total of 154 kickoff return yards, and also recorded a then Super Bowl record 90 punt return yards, thus tying the then Super Bowl records of total return yards, 244, and combined net yards gained, 244. This was the first Super Bowl broadcast by Fox under its first contract to carry NFL games.